All right, guys, so this is Intravenous. Now, this game doesn't actually release until um, July. It's due to be released in July. This is just the demo of the game. And actually, if I go back and restart the game, there is a couple of notices that we need to take note of. Uh, it says, made using Love 2D. Um, and it's work in progress. And this level that is in the demo is actually midway through the game. So the demo is actually, they say this, they're telling me that the demo is actually quite challenging. So what the game is, is it's kind of like a, an action um, shooter game with kind of like elements of stealth mixed into it as well. And it kind of has a lot of, uh, it's kind of been linked to the kind of Metal Gear Solid franchise and Siphon Filter, which are both two franchises I used to play and uh, love playing when I was like um, a kid. So there's, you know, various different bits and pieces to do. Hopefully everything is going to be explained to me as we um, go. But um, I guess we can choose our difficulty. We'll go normal for a start, I guess, because I guess we don't want to um, get anything too hardcore. And then we'll see how we go. Maybe we can try a uh, full blown hardcore playthrough. So yeah, like I said, it takes place midway through the game. Um, so it won't be easy. I recommend going through the obstacle course in the hub area before moving into the main game level. All right, so we'll uh, try and navigate the obstacle course then, I guess. But uh, yeah, anyway, let's take a quick look. Get acquainted with the hideout. So mouse controls and uh, WSAD. Space allows us to climb over things. And I mean, I can interact with this or I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So it looks like we've got like a an indicator here, which is telling us our objective. So E to open the weapons locker. So we have uh, an M4 and we have a VP9. And there's some weapon stats here and different bits of pieces. So we could also take out an AK if we wanted. Uh, we've got a suppressed pistol. And some bodily armor here. So I guess we can probably upgrade that or get better ones throughout the game. Which is pretty nice. But I think we'll stick to a silenced pistol for now. And then we'll swap out for the AK. Don't really see like the difference in here. This is I don't know if like one's got up on the highway, I'm not sure. Uh, okay. Close range entanglements. Reduce recoil. And recover faster and more accurate shot placement. Well, that seems like that's the thing we want to kind of do, right? Alright, go through the obstacle course. Um. Okay, so we have single shot or burst fire, it seems. That's uh, telling us there we can um, switch using X, I guess. A little bit weird. I'm not used to playing like a game where I'm controlling that with the... Um, they're on debrief. I'm not used to controlling like mouse and keyboard, so I apologize if I'm like, my strafe, I'm, like strafing like all over the place and stuff. Use the sink. Can we use the, the toilet? Okay, we're just gonna use everything in so we can night vision as well. 
Surface surfaces make more noise than the rest. Just your movement speed with the mouse. Okay, so we can... Ah, okay. So that still icon at the bottom is adjusting our movement speed, so... Okay. We need to learn how to pick locks. The right tools, most locks can be cracked. You could also just as easily shoot the lock out. Just take aim at the door handle and fire off a couple of shots. Give it a try. Now is your best friend is which remain undetected. You can turn lights on or off or shoot them out entirely. You need to get good at climbing over walls. Uh, observe, observe your heads up. Hold right mouse from a weapon to enter aiming mode. Okay. Allows you to aim at high or low objects. Uh. Oh, that was a light switch. <laughs> Good job, Nock. Good job. As you can see, I'm clearly the right man for this. <laughs> Left control to go prone. Stand up. Okay. Gotcha. I assume like this would come like right at the beginning of the game though. Some lights can't be put out. On a breaker box, you can knock multiple lamps out at once. Goons may be may not be super happy about that though. Obviously. Keep an eye out for vent shafts. You can bypass or reach otherwise inaccessible areas by crawling through them. Proper Metal Gear here, going through the vents. Observe the camera. If you're not the guy on the other side of the camera, cameras. I missed that man. I wasn't like properly paying attention. It sucks. Take out the camera. Is there a light switch that I can actually like see whether or not there's anything here? Don't feel like some super secret bonus or something. But I guess not. Enter the debrief when ready. Alright, so that's the tutorial then. There's an R for reloading. And one thing that's like kind of weird is that it's almost a bit like uh, the way I remember playing Resident Evil back in the day. Like the controls don't, the controls don't like move. Um, and what I've been meaning by that, they're like what they used to, we used to call tank controls back in the day. So. Whichever way, like you, th you're facing. If you press forward, you will always go forward. Not like it's it's hard to hard to explain. Like you used to have to like rotate the um, so like you'd move forward, but to rotate your char character, you'd actually have to rotate them and then hold forward. Whereas like in modern day, kind of, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just no. I'm sorry. Let me get my let me let me get my my words out properly. I would ex I'm kind of baffled a bit that it isn't like that. So I expect to hold forward, 
and kind of like move forward all the time but I actually have to kind of press in the direction like four axis so um it's going crazy I don't know it's a bit I think with the mouse movement it would have made it would have been a lot the the controls would possibly be a lot better if it was just sort of like w to hold forward all the time because you've got this mouse but instead it's like just strafing like that's forwards always up down is always like backwards is always down sort of thing uh anyway let's um let's begin the baker i've heard of him before who is he if i had to guess he's the local drug kingpin the shopkeeper gave us his name but not much else i have nowhere here no no idea where he is doesn't help that I've been killing all the people who gave us clues, but I guess that's par that's par for the course. You've been killing, you've been killing all of your form informants. Good job. I'm afraid we're at a dead end. That shopkeeper guy said their folks was will be on my ass and any ass day and night. I don't think they know this place, but they give me an idea. Use yourself as bait. Lure, lure our friends in and kindly ask them where to look to, for our local condiment vendor. Exactly. Just don't do it here. We can't risk the operation. Of course not. No, I guess what I don't know. I could just I, I guess like each to their own. I mean, there might even be some. I wonder if there's even some options like change like the movement style. That's better. See, that's the way I kind of would rather have it. So, okay. There's already an option for that. So now I can just hold forward and, and do all like kind of this. And I can stray forwards and backwards and, and do whatever I kind of want from here. So I I prefer this sort of layout here. Um, ah, that's how we switch weapons. That's good to know. All right, let's start the mission. I just felt like doing something different. This week's a bit... Um, this week's a bit um, up in the air crazy because I'm only doing a couple of streams this week. I'm not streaming tomorrow at lunchtime because uh, I'm meeting a friend in my lunch break and going for a walk. And on Friday, I'm actually away for a long weekend. So there's no stream Friday or Monday um, or Saturday night even. So I just thought I'd do something a little bit different today. All right. Abandoned Complex, November 18th at 005 hours. Think you'll manage? Yeah, if anything, they're more disadvantaged than I am. You managed to get the lights off? No dice. Power's finished this place, even though it's abandoned. I just flipping the switches on any breaker boxes you find. Pick dark spots and try not to fight them in broad daylight, or moonlight, for that matter. I see them coming on the CCTVs. Get ready. Okay, we're here. Find this guy and put a bullet in him. You see anything moving? You shoot first, you ask questions later. We can't afford any F-ups. I don't want to see anyone get shot. Got it? Good. Now, just here and be careful. He could be anywhere. Make sure you, you've got a flashlight before you go out. Alright, so we're going to stick with what we had. Um, unless... Uh, well, Well, adds quite a VP and it also does suffer from its slow rate of fire and low magazine capacity and slower. Alright, so we'll stick with VP9. <laughs> PG indeed. It's interesting that obviously, like, your loadout and everything affects the. Um, affects your, like, sound and everything, which is quite cool. It's quite. It feels like it's, like, quite. And in depth, they've, they've put a lot of thought into it. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, so
Turn off all of these lights as we go. Alright, so. Slowly, slowly catch your monkey. Where are these guys going to... Get him, I'm sure. Uh oh. Well. got away can you not like kind of see that you you guys killed me <laughs> uh, all right so let's try again then shall we so clearly like turning off the breaker boxes while it's good they like they literally like react to that so have to uh, keep that in mind Looks like we've got to like lure them into places, maybe. Um. Okay, so we killed the first one. I'm not hurt. Okay. Can't take any of that unless um, we're injured then. The other thing I'm like worried about is like they see like the I wonder if they react to like blood splatters and things. Um, oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> um, so the only thing I would say is like, Although I can like vault over these walls and bits and pieces, but it's hard to know. It's hard to know, I guess, what the enemies can see through and see over. So I think what I'm maybe going to have to do is like treat each of like the climbable wall things as something that the enemy can see me through, um, and then kind of go from there. Alright, so each time it uh, we reset, we do have to. Um, Killing starts again. Uh, 
I guess I can't, um... Yeah, that's sort of what I was trying to say, fumbly. Alright, this is going to like trigger them to come out here. I guess. Two sets, guys. Apologies for that. So they don't actually turn the breaker boxes back on then. So, let's try not to, um, as, as weird as it sounds, I'm, I think I'm actually struggling, like, with changing the freaking the controls the way I have, because I did that pr those practice runs using the other controls. Though I said I would much prefer them to be like this, I kind of feel like I've shot myself in the foot a little bit, but... So I can like pick up and throw them. I guess nobody's there though. Probably better to use that sort of technique and tactic when um, I'm actually being chased or want to cause a distraction. And I guess the music changed when we're not kind of like in a, when we're not like being chased, I guess. Wait. Well, they can see me.
I mean, granted, it was pretty light, but I guess they can see over the climb walls even if I duck down then. Okay. Good to note. I think probably the best thing to do would maybe be just to like pick the lock on all these breaker boxes and then like trying to use them um try to like pick my moment to use them kind of thing Let's see what they do here. Are they going to come and investigate the breaker box? I shouldn't have been so uh, I shouldn't have been so hasty there who knows maybe in a moment we'll actually get more than one kill Shadows, man. Yeah, I mean, I you know when you'd start out in a normal game, obviously you wouldn't be uh, as thrown in, definitely. But it did say it's kind of like this. This this mission is kind of like halfway through the game, so it's to be expected that it's going to be a somewhat of a challenge. Yeah, and that was dumb. more another one around the corner I didn't realize I did not realize
Oh, that was uh, that was close. Do like these two guys just like peeling off? Seem to be working in pairs though. Run, 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 run. Well, I'm dead. <laughs> Come on now, we can we need to do better. Go down there, and I think they go up to the top, don't they, this patrol? No, they go back over there. I gotta move though now because if they come and look at the bodies, I'm shafted. Alright, my health regens, which is good. I just need them to disperse a bit. Alright, well this is clearly the strat. I know, I, I think like his vision was slightly skewed because of the... Um, right, he's seen me. Well, we, got, we got nearly a third of them. I think his vision was a bit skewed because I was like at the corner. I mean, the, the vision indicator like popped up as if he'd like seen something. But, um, yeah. I mean, this seems like it's the place to kind of assault, doesn't it? Wait till these guys go back up to the top. See what I would have thought like the guys would have done if Dun or the guys with the Dun <laughs> what they would have done is if they saw something like suspicious they'd have been like No? I would have thought if they'd like seen them suspicious they'd like investigate the area. I guess that guy didn't really want to take us on or anything. But
I have all the light, the lights, a lot of the lights switched on on the outside of the rooms as well. I kind of designed something like that. Do you mean to open that door? Alright, I gotta go. I kind of feel like I should be doing a better job at hiding bodies, but... another window to the side. No! <laughs> I didn't see the other window. Be careful with some of these guys as well, though, because some of these guys don't um, have flashlights. Ah, oh, man. Use apologies again. Uh, all right, where are we? Lucky not to have got killed there. I didn't pause the game. Shut. Oopsie. What? What? 
How did you know I was there, man? And I think like the 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 key to like doing well in this is to like literally turn everything off. Darkness is your friend. Way. Run away. Can I? I can't get in there because there's something blocking the way. Okay. Interesting. turning off all the lights but then um, it's easy for me to get like caught up on everything and there's like a whole area over here where we haven't even explored Regroup. Regroup. Let my health uh, come back up a little bit here. guys going to or where are they coming from all right stop hiding in the corner like a baby he says as then he moves and he sees like some light moving there to go around the other way. I was going to loop back around this way. Then I maybe could have taken a couple of them out.
Oh man, there's like four of them here. That ain't good. Get up. Man, like, I don't know. I'm like aiming at them and shooting, but they just don't seem to be, uh, they don't seem to be going anywhere. Just give me a break. I think that could be like a working strategy though, like just following them in. Where to like they're well in. But I have to say I'm really quite impressed with like this game. Um considering I didn't like really know a lot about it. I think the level of detail that they've added into this game is like fantastic so i'm really excited actually to see what they can do with the uh, the finished product as such let's try a different tactic here How can he? How can he shoot me through a door, man? Seriously. <laughs> I think I just need to get better at being stealthy. I think that's the uh, the big thing here. Knock needs to get better. Here he comes again. It's like he can shoot me at that angle, but I can't shoot him. That's that's that seems fair. That seems fair. <laughs>
I just don't seem to be able to hit them at those corners. Which is a little bit weird. Maybe what I should do instead is try and pick something up to throw. Distract him. Maybe I should just stop trying to use the silence weapon and I should just go full force with uh, my AK. Jeez. But yeah, I'm, ha I'm having quite a lot of fun playing this, I'll be completely honest. Like I say, it takes me back to kind of like when I was younger and as a kid, and I played a lot of um, Metal Gear and uh, Siphon Filter and, and those sorts of things. So yeah, I, I think it's really cool. Uh, the, like I said, the level of detail that they've gone in with, like all the sounds and everything, like the weapons, like making different sounds uh, and different vo levels of sound, I mean, sorry, I think is uh, also pretty cool. How did you not hear that? Seriously. I mean, sure. I mean, you know, you just see a big pile of bodies and you, you keep on coming. I mean, why wouldn't you do that? Makes perfect sense. I mean, sure. Five left. Wow, and then we just get wrecked. <laughs> oh, just like that. 
He just like turns around with shotgun and goes, boom. <laughs> Uh, oh well, guys. Like I said, I had a real, I had a lot of fun with this. Um, I'll probably play this um, on my own off kind of stream or something uh, another time. But uh, yeah, the full game is due to come out in July. And uh, if you're interested, go and check out the Steam store. But uh, thanks everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed the stream. We're back tonight playing some more Final Fantasy VII remake, and then we'll be back on the lunchtime stream on Thursday, and we'll probably play some uh, portal 2 on thursday but uh until then guys thank you very much for joining me enjoy the rest of your day i've been knock you've been awesome stay safe and happy gaming